is Chloe Dennis and I'm majoring in nursing. I'm Abby Ferguson and I'm majoring in nursing and writing in Spanish. Yeah. Cool. All right, so in what ways do you learn the best and find yourself the most successful when it comes to your education? So for me, I have to ask lots of questions like to my professors and other friends that already had their classes. Um, another thing that helps me is not cramming information like the night before, but slowly studying the material um, like throughout the weeks right after it's been given and um, trying to learn the information in as many ways as possible. So like by reading it, um, like reading the textbooks or recording lectures, um, just trying to listen to it and absorb it as, as many ways as possible helps me to learn the best. Um, what are some of your core values and what's the quote that you kind of use to identify yourself or live by? So for me, I'm a Christian and so all of my core values revolve around Christ. Um, actually, I have this one quote um, that's tattooed, uh, that I've tattooed on me. It's like in symbols, which stands for God is good and God is greater. Um, the quote helps remind me um, just uh, well, for one, it kind of helps me like, to refocus, not on the stress, not on everything going around me, but to focus on what's most important. Uh, it reminds me of just kind of like, promises and of truth to help me to like, keep focused. Another quote that just kind of like, comes in second is, um, the joy of the Lord is my strength. So like when I'm being like, discouraged or weak or just really tired or want to give up, like, I kind of remember that, you know, the joy of the Lord is my strength. and that one really helps me to stay focused and keep going and remembering that um, you know that the hard part's not going to last forever. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are some of your strengths, um, both in life and in your education? How have your strengths helped you um, succeed in the past, and how have you planned to use your strengths to help you succeed in the future? Okay. So. Um, there's a couple um, that come to mind. One of them, uh, probably determination. Uh, my mom calls it kind of like like a fighter spirit in a sense. So I can be kind of really determined when I have something that I know is important that I need to do. And again, like that just kind of helps me just not to give up even when it's hard. Um, another one, since I'm going into nursing, for me, uh, ever since I was little, I've always loved taking care of people and helping people. And so for nursing, that was just a, a really easy decision just to go into nursing because I can help people, I can nurture, um, to like after people. Um, probably like in school, um, so like I was homeschooled. And so for me, homeschooling really taught me the importance of kind of like owning my education. Um, it taught me to be a better student because if I was going to learn, I had to put the time into it, I had to put the work into it. I had to find resources to help me understand something better and so that just helped me become a better learner and appreciate education and like what goes into learning something well so those, those are three big things that have helped a lot okay and what is some things that or what are some things that you do to keep yourself motivated Let's see motivation yeah um well i kind of remember back to why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, so like um, the reason like, like for going to nursing, for instance, I look back like remember like why I'm going to nursing in the first place. Um, so kind of like remembering the reason or kind of like, like the why question of like why you're doing something uh, helps you keep focus and also kind of looking to the future too. So if you have goals set up, um, kind of remembering, you know, like why you first got into something and then like what you hope to get out of it having those two things to look at, for me at least, helps keep me really motivated and keeps me going. Mm -hmm. Okay, and all right, in what days, in what ways do you hope to make a difference in today's society and like the world that's around us? So ever since I was, well, as long as I can remember, I've been called to ministry. I, that's just like something I have known for myself, that I'm called to ministry. And so for nursing, like, um, you know, that's one thing that's going to play into that. Uh, eventually, after I get my degree, I would love to work in an area that is like lower income, under-resourced uh, area. And 
after kind of getting some experience with new nursing, I would love to go back to school and do something in counseling to um, aid me in nursing, but to also me like do counseling like on the side, like nonprofit groups. Um, and yeah, I just kind of help um, people that um, either like don't have all the resources that, that they need and things like that. Um, what are some of your strategies when it comes to reading books or like texts or you know peers paragraphs um, not paragraphs essays and how do you use these strategies to help you like learn or yeah improve your yeah that's really important um so i have like three main things that i do a lot like for reading stuff um first off like i, I annotate um anything that's important like when i'm annotating um what i do is i underline things um i write in the margins um, I love color coding, so like that's, that's a big thing, like annotating, color coding, and underlining. Um, so like by color coding, um, I might like highlight um, like one topic, like one color, or if I'm, if I'm having to write a paper, like say my paper has three points, um, like the first point might be like, um, like I might have like, like the, or the color orange set aside for the first point, or the color blue for the second point. And so I read, you know, many resources that back that up. That's how I color code things. So that helps me like, keep everything organized and so I can find it better. All right, and lastly, um, what are some of your test taking skills and what like advice can you give to those that do struggle with test taking, like anxiety when it comes to that? Yeah, that one's hard. I, I deal with like test anxiety for sure. Um, I'm still trying to learn how to control that better because that's something I, I definitely have to work on. Uh, probably like, I mean, the obvious thing, I guess for me at least, is for sure making, like, definitely making sure to be prepared as well as you possibly can for it. Um, so like for me, that's that means not cramming the night before. For me, that means like working on it, you know, a couple weeks in advance. Uh, and so um, that's kind of the first thing. And, then the night before I can get really stressed out about an exam so sometimes uh, well there's just like there's, there's this one drink that I take it has like magnesium in it so like lots of different like nutrients that are good to help calm your body down so you aren't so stressed uh, that helps a lot uh, I also have this devotional that I read and the devotional kind of helps me to to like refocus on what's important and not to focus on the stress of taking the exam. Um, just kind of remembering that I've done everything that I possibly could to do well on the exam and just not focusing on the stress, but just focusing on going in, getting it done, doing the best that I possibly can do. So that's what's helped the most. Cool. Okay. So for you, Chloe, um, what are some techniques that you use when taking notes? Like, what's helped you with that? Okay, yeah, when I take notes, I normally try to use, like, different colors of pen. Like, right. if something's really important, I'll use, like, green. And if something's, like, a little less important, but, you know, still want to write it down, I use, like, a black pen or, like, a blue pen or something like that. And normally I'll highlight stuff if it's important and, like, the teacher says, you know, you may need to know this later on or like this could be on your test or things that I just think could be on my test. That's kind of how I um, take notes. So, and that really has helped me throughout the years, of, especially in college, so yeah. That's awesome. Um, so, so far, what has been your favorite paper you've written for college and what are some techniques that you've used in writing that paper that's helped you? Yeah, um, my favorite paper that I've written so far is the one I'm currently working on which is about the advantages and disadvantages of online learning. So that's kind of like really relevant at this time, you know, with COVID and everything, you know, how it affects like, you know, kids from pre-K to all the way to us, you know, having to learn and adapt to those different techniques and methods of learning. So yeah, I try to, um, and what was your second question? Oh, like techniques that you use yeah. to help you write papers. Okay, and... well, I use the Writing Center a lot and especially yeah. this paper, I um, use a research center, like in the library and stuff. So those are some good things that help me. And just to like make sure to do it plenty of time ahead so I can go back and check and, you know, review it, make sure I got everything I needed, so yeah. 
the grindstone and everything. That that one's an awesome one. Yeah, that one's helped me yeah. out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I had comp one and comp two, I basically lived at the writing center mm -hmm. like twenty four seven. Not quite, but it was awesome. Um, okay, so next one is um, what are some of your favorite social events or like groups that you like to be a part of, and to, like church or hang out with friends, things yeah. like that. And how do you try to manage that time with college and getting stuff done for college? Yeah, uh, I'm not really involved in like a lot of clubs or stuff like that, but I do go to Fusion as well as Abby, she goes to. Um, and it's just like a youth ministry that, you know, we go and eat and then worship and have a sermon um, and then play a fun game at the end. So it's really just a good time and everyone's welcome. So I really like that welcoming environment and like, you know, go there every week and meet new people and talk and hang out. So um, that's something that's really helped me like balance school because I can seem to get too wrapped up in like my work and always being ahead of or turning something in on time or, you know, going to that each week kind of helps me balance it. So, yeah, that's awesome. So what are like, do you have any like kind of like techniques or tips or like how to balance like your fun social things with like the pressures of college, like yeah. turning stuff in, or you mean not spending, you mean kind of like make sure you don't spend too much time hanging out with friends versus studying, like yeah. do you have any tips for that? Just to make sure you turn your work in, like if you know you're gonna go out one night and you have an assignment due the next day or like that night, like just make sure you turn it in a couple of days before or you know, if you have that friend group that wants to go hang out and you're like, I really have homework, like do your homework and like school comes first. So like, um, I think school's really important and, some, and sometimes it's hard to get wrapped up in like having a good time or you know, wanting to go out and not do homework or whatever. So I think just to make sure your homework is priority. Yeah, so, yeah. for sure, that's great. Um, so how challenging have you found it to maintain like a healthy lifestyle? Um, you know, both physically, like, I mean, as far as like, you know, what you eat, but also emotionally, uh, mentally, when it comes to stress and anxiety and that kind of stuff. Yeah, fortunately, I've been able to like commute back and forth to school, and so that helps like with limiting eating out or limiting eating like bad food that's not good for you. And um, some things I try to do is like not eat out a lot, make sure that I'm intaking a lot of water and like exercising each week. I like to go to the gym and work out or, you know, do stuff like that that keeps your body healthy. And it's also like a good getaway from, you know, if you're going to the gym, it's a good getaway from homework or, you know, something like that in the gym. Find out of it and do something that's healthy. So, yeah. yeah, that's something that's really helped me just making sure I'm not eating like bad food and drinking a lot of water and stuff. And I've noticed it's helped me physically and academically. So, yeah. And like going to gym, like that can also be like, really helpful with like stress too. Yeah. Like just like I know for me, like I do that to like help like de stress yeah. where I could like just get away. Yes, mm -hmm. it's so nice. Yeah. All right. So as a college student, what are some of your expenses that you have to pay for? Um, you know, that can be anything from like just like college expenses to just basic like living expenses. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's like where kind of some things that you have to do. Yeah, so like I said, I commute, so I'm not paying for like the living gear when I can just commute for like 15 minutes each day or um, just whatever. So that's like a huge money saver. And then college, I try to apply for like all the scholarships I can. That way I'm not leaving college with like a huge debt. And when I get out, I can, you know, start a family or get married or do stuff that um, um, debt can kind of prevent you from or like slow you down from so I try to like make sure to stay on top of all my expenses if I have um, like a check each week I'll make sure to put most of it in the bank and so I'm not spending it on unnecessary things that I don't need or you know just random things so yeah, yeah. that's awesome uh, and you mentioned like applying for scholarships things like that do you have any other kind of tips um, maybe like, like managing money or things like that that's helped you like keep track of your expenses while also saving ahead to pay, you know, pay off college in the future. Like, do you have any like, tips yeah. for that? Like I said, like, just knowing, like, a certain percentage of your paycheck each week should go into your 
bank account or wherever you keep it, save it or whatever. I feel like making sure you put that money back so you can build up some, you know, um, money for when you get out or um, yes, and scholarship is a big thing. That helps a lot. Even if it's just, you know, $100, like that's a hundred less dollars you have to pay out of pocket or take a loan out for or something like that. So. You mentioned living at home earlier. Like that, yes. That's the one that people always think of, but that one helps so much. Right. There's so much cost that's put into living on campus. And for some people, they have to live on campus. Like, there's not a way around it. Mm -hmm. But for those that, you know, can live at home, that's like a scholarship in itself because it's money that you're not going to pay out usually. Right. So that one's really helpful. Um, you also mentioned not wanting to go into debt. So, like, are loans something that you plan on using? Um, if not, like, you know, like, yes or no, or, like, why? Um, probably not. Like, I, I don't think, like, I, I don't, I'd like to not have to have a loan when I get, you know, so that when I get out of college, I'm not having to pay that off. You know, I try to, you know, make money and work hard during the summer so that I can pay for college or just apply for scholarships and, you know, get it paid for so that I'm not having to, and that's not having to pay for it later on but that's one of the main reasons I chose to come here is the expense and like not leaving with that huge debt whenever I'm out of college so yeah that's really important like people always think about debt when they go to college but debt is something that can be really hard on your future later on mm -hmm. like maybe if you do find a job or you want to get married or you know whatever like debt can, can sometimes and oftentimes hold you back from that uh, it can kind of get anchor. So like, if you can stay out of debt through like scholarships or even just taking a year off to work, those can yeah. be so helpful. Yeah. Let's see. So what are some of your short-term and long-term goals that you have? And how do you, um, like what are some things that you do to like stay on track to so like, make sure you can get those done and accomplish that? Yeah, um, one of my short-term goals as a nursing major is to um, obviously get accepted into the program which you know like to in order to do that you have to make sure you have all your classes all your classes that you needed and stuff like that so I I try to like take summer classes or you know to get me caught up and not um, force me to take 18 hours in a semester which is overwhelming uh, so that's like something that's one of my short-term goals and then long-term goals are obviously to get a job in the nursing field and get married, start a family, eventually that's like 10 years. But um, yeah, that's something that I, like my dreams and goals, I guess, that are subject to change, but you know, so that's kind of the things, my short-term awesome. and long-term goals. Yeah, so having those type of goals are really helpful to kind of yeah, keep you focused and yeah. determined. It's um, kind of, yeah, with that, as, kind of, as a concluding thought, because college can be, as you know, really hard and stressful at times. It can also be a lot of fun, but in the times that it is hard, uh, like when exams come up or you're really saying that you're not going to be able to pass a class because you didn't do well, you know, whatever. Uh, during those time periods, it's really important to know why you're in college. Um, and, you know, there's, there's some people that it takes them longer to understand uh, why they're in college, kind of have that reason. But when you discover your reason for why you're in college, it's so important to remember that and to not forget that. Because in the times that it is hard and you feel like you're gonna like, you, know, you just wanna give up or you can't, like you can't you know, make it anymore. Remembering why you first started, in, you know, started college in the first place is so important. Cause it helps keep you motivated, helps keep you focused, helps give you kind of that, like that, that light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and it helps you remember too that what you're doing now is preparing you for what you really want to do in the future because we look at it kind of in the bigger picture college is just like a small time thing compared to what you know you hope to do in the future so remembering that can be really good so in conclusion i just you know hope that uh, you know everyone watching this has a really great rest of their college experience and um, hopefully well so bye everybody <laughs>